Hey there, welcome to another instruction video. In this video, I will talk about Kaltura Capture and recording your lectures. So in Canvas, you can now find the tab My Media. And if you click on it, this is where you will actually land. In My Personal Media, this is the one that you're seeing right now, you can see all these videos. And I uploaded these videos to My Media and I can now use these videos in all sorts of ways in my different courses. So your My Media is probably still empty at the moment, but we might change that. For example, by adding a lecture recording. So I click on Add New, and then I choose Cultura Capture. You will be asked to uh, install Cultura Capture to download the desktop recorder. And once you've done that, it will automatically launch. And here am I. Now, uh, one thing that you will immediately notice is that I'm not looking at you, um, I'm looking up. Um, that means um, that the screen I'm looking at is my second screen, and that's not where my webcam is. My webcam is on my laptop. So this is the first point of attention. If you're going to use this um, to record your PowerPoint lectures, you'd probably want to use your notes. Now, for that, you want to use the presenter view. That's the only way that you can actually see your notes when recording with Cultura Capture. So you work with two screens. So if you do that, make sure that your notes are on your laptop and that the actual slideshow is shown on the second screen. OK, so I'm going to look up now um, again because um, here I have the settings. So the camera is set. This one is working. And the screen is now showing my second screen. I could actually also choose, uh, choose to use my um, Dell screen. Wait, no, that one was showing to show the other one. Yes. OK, so here now you can see that if I would press record right now, my lecture notes would be recorded. And um, that's, of course, not what we want. Um, but this is the other screen that I am looking at in my uh, little office at home. So uh, make sure before you start recording, you select the correct screen. So the second screen is being selected um, to record the slides. Let's get the slides as well so you can see those. OK, here are the slides. Let's get the recorder back as well. OK, so um, I set the slides and I'm using a full screen. Of course, I want to show my full slides. And the camera is set as well. In a moment, once I start recording, this um, desktop um, application will uh, disappear. And I start recording my slides. And I'll start looking um, uh, at the actual webcam. OK, so here we go. There will be a countdown. OK, now I'm just going to start recording. Hey, guys, here's the third lecture from Methods of Communication Research and Statistics. Today we will talk about introduction to inferential statistics. All these topics will be discussed, blah, 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 and so on and so on. And we'll go through the slides. We'll talk about inferential statistics, about populations and sample. Just quickly showing these things so I have some um, stuff to show you um, later on in the recorded video. OK, now I'm going to stop the recording. So let's go back and stop. OK, are you sure you want to stop this recording? Yes, stop it. And here we go. Oh, this is a wonderful thumbnail of me with the beautiful headphones that I'm just using for a nice sound. Um, so here you can already see um, in, in what way Cultura Capture is different from, for example, PowerPoint. It's because it's recording two screens. It's recording the slideshow, but it's also recording um, the presenter, in this case, me. Now, the thing that you want to do is um, give this a nice title. So this is a Cultura Instruction Video Slideshow. And um, here I can give a short description it's explaining how to use Cultura Capture. And here I can enter some tags. And the tags are really useful for students um, to find relevant content in their media gallery on Canvas. So I'm just going to add two tags now. So you enter the word and then comma, and it will uh, add it. Oh. 
OK. Um, I'm going to say save and upload now. And here you can see uh, two other slideshows that I recorded. Um, this might take some while, of course, for the more longer lectures, as we always suggest, 10 to 15 minutes max. Um, so Cultura is now uploading and um, I can close this already if I want to. But first, I'm going to show you something else. So this is the library. Um, if you go to settings, you can see the settings here. What's the quality of your camera? You know, if you don't want it to be that high, also because, you know, um, you're going to record many lectures, don't set it to that high screen recording. Um, sometimes you want to record system audio, sometimes you don't. It depends, you know, if you want to show a video in your slideshow, maybe set it to yes, otherwise to no. Um, and then this one is important by default. It's checked on no auto minimize when recording, but what you want to put it on yes, because otherwise um, the students can also see the desktop recorder in the video. OK, um, I'm going to close this and I'll go back to my media. OK, I'm back in my media and you can see that the Cultura Instruction Video Slideshow is not quite ready yet. It's being uploaded, but I can work on it already. It's set to private right now. This is also what you want. You don't want to share it yet. Um, you first want to edit it a little bit before you're going to publish it. So to edit it, you um, click on the little pencil icon. And well, it gives me sometimes it gives me this error, but actually there's nothing wrong at the moment. You see the media is being processed. Here you can see already the title and the description and the tags that I just gave the video. What I'm going to do in this instruction video is just show you a few options of um, what you can do and what's really useful now that you're transferring to online um, teaching. Collaboration has to do with sharing it with other lecturers. Um, thumbnails, um, that would be the thumbnail um, for the video. So here you can just um, uh, check one. Well, obviously, there is no nice one for me. Um, I'm just going to choose this one. You can also, of course, upload a, um, a thumbnail yourself. Um, downloads has to do with uh, if you check any of these, then students can actually download the video captions. Well, I don't want any captions for my lectures. Uh, but what I find very interesting is timeline. OK, so. Um, one of the first things that you can see, you see a little menu, and if you click on it, then you can see that Cultura actually automatically recognizes the different slides in my presentation. You know, and this is even a, a very short presentation, but it already um, recognizes this. And it actually, so if you click on it, so for students, they now want to go to this part for example, and then you automatically skip to that slide. So for students, this could be very relevant. So now um, Cultura is doing this automatically. So the chapters that you can see here are actually displayed here as well. So if I just go to the second one, that's this one. OK, so if you click on this, um, it gives you this chapter. So this is the um, uh, introduction slide where it tells me the contents of today. So it actually includes the text of that chapter. Now, it's very nice that um, uh, uh, Cultura is doing this for me. But if I have like 20 or 30 or 50 slides, you know, I don't want a new chapter for every slide that I go to. But it really depends a bit. You know, how long are you talking about a slide, etc. cetera? Uh, what you can do is just delete these chapters. So I could say I delete this chapter and I'm going to add chapters manually. So if there are certain topics in my slides, right? So if I go to the today's slide, I close this. Um, I already recognize here the different topics for which I could create chapters. OK, the video should pause for a minute. Oh, it's not doing that right now, but um, based on the slides, you could decide, OK, uh, I want um, a, a chapter for the first topic, a chapter for the second topic, et cetera, et cetera. So as soon as you create a new chapter, for example, I want one right here, right? We'll just make this one again. I say I want a new chapter here and then I give it a title just like Cultura did. Um, I'll call it today again and I can give a um, short description here um, I can actually replace the thumbnail if I want to 
um, I can enter tags, so that makes it easier for students to find, and then I save it, and now it's added here. Okay, so you can either use the chapters that are created by, Cult by Cultura, or you create new ones to make um, um, uh, the structure of the lecture a bit easier for students to find information. Okay, so basically these are the most important things that I wanted to show you. I can go back to my media, and um, here you can see the new video. So it's the Cultura Instruction Video Slideshow, and this is what it will look like for students as well. And here you can see the chapters that they can click on. Okay. And of course, you can see me as well. Now, another nice thing for students is that they can actually decide on what they want to see. So, for example, only slides. They're not interested in me. I can imagine that watching those thumbnails. Or they want to see me in the bottom corner. Or they want to watch it like this. So this is up to the students and they can switch. So if I go to this one, they can switch between seeing me or the slides. So this is also a very nice feature of Cultura Capture. Now, I created this video. Um, suppose I'm satisfied with it. I now want to publish it and upload it um, to a specific page in my course. So I go to Actions, Publish. And you can see it's set to private now. Once you're satisfied, you can publish it because after publishing, you cannot edit it anymore. You can set it to private again and make some changes in the video, um, but just only publish when you feel like, okay, it's done. So I'm gonna publish now. And now the nice thing is you can even choose um, which course you want to publish it to. As soon as you click on a course, course, for example, Methods of Communication Research and Statistics, that's the course I wanna upload this to, um, it will appear in the media gallery of that course. So I click on save. Okay, so the media was successfully published. Now let's go to that course. Here we are. And I'll go to Media Gallery. So in the Media Gallery, that's the place where you and your students can find all the media that you uploaded through Cultura on uh, Canvas. Okay, so this is where students can find all the information. And here you can see the instruction slideshow that I just created. Now, if I want to upload, uh, upload this somewhere, let's go to a random module. I'm going to upload it, for example, right here. Click on Edit. This is just a page in Canvas. I'll go to More External Tools, Cultura Media. And here you see the video. I'll click on Embed. I click on Save. And there we go. Here's the video with the menu, choose which slide I'm interested in, etc. So that's it. I hoped I showed you the basic functionalities of Cultura Capture in an easy way, and you can start working with this. Good luck.